What is going on, everybody? Welcome to Sports Talk with Broads, and what we have here for you today is a little bit of a Philadelphia Eagles discussion because there is somebody in the NFC that is making moves, and are people concerned? That's where I want to go today. I want to hear from you. So, before we begin, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe subscribe, comment if you'd like to because I enjoy speaking with you guys and like I was saying, I want to hear from you guys because there is an NFC rival here with the LA Rams and they got a young quarterback in Jared Goff, we have Carson Wentz, you're talking about the one, the two and they're building up their defense, they've gotten Marcus Peters, they've gotten Aqib Tlaib and they have Aaron Donald already who was an absolute stud in this league and then Sue signs with the LA Rams, and now people are discussing how the Rams defense, they have the best two defensive tackles in the league, and I just want to compare this to how we think this is going to uh, play out with the Eagles. I mean, you're telling me this Eagles D-line is getting disrespected again? Are you serious? Now, I know Michael Bennett's situation is what it is, and nobody knows how that is going to play out right now, but with this defensive line and what they just did in the playoffs, we're still an underdog to an addition of Sue? I mean, I get it. Aaron Donald is a beast, and Sue is a beast too, but, you know, there was a reason why Miami dealt him. There's a reason why... You know, they weren't interested in re-signing him. I'm not saying he's not an absolute beast or anything, but I mean, just I just feel like there is disrespect to this Philadelphia D-line. And when you're comparing these when you're comparing these two defenses, I'm still giving the edge to the Eagles. And I get it, we lost Patrick Robinson, but we have Sidney Jones, who was a beast in college and sat out last year due to an Achilles injury, but you can't forget about that. And I know they got Sam Shields, and and I, I will say that Marcus Peters is a, a stud. He's a stud cornerback, and the Rams are building. They're improving, no doubt. There's even a little report that I just saw that there's potentially a situation where they might go after OBJ, but that's fine. He's an absolute head case, and who knows what's going on with that right now with the New York Giants. But, but regardless... When you're discussing these two defenses between Sue and Aaron Donald on the defensive line, you have Marcus Peters, Sam Shields, Aqib Tlaib. I, I still love this Eagles defense. I really do. Nigel Bradham, Jordan Hicks, you have Cox, you have Jernigan, Derek Barnett, Chris Long, Michael Bennett. I mean, come on. Seriously? I, I don't know. Am I crazy? I know I'm being biased. I'm a diehard Eagles fan, but I'm not saying the Rams aren't improving their defense. They're definitely making steps of forward progress. But looking on paper, and I know that's not how it always plays out, but for ESPN and all these NFL analysts to come out and say that they have just the best defensive line in in football right now with Aaron Donald and, and Sue, I don't know. I don't know. I just, I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it at all. And I love where this Eagles team is going. There's also now reports that Darren Sproles is going to resign, and he knows he's got a, a key piece to this team. And not only that, a veteran leader like him. I mean, he went through a, a tough experience last year. He just has a veteran mindset to everything. He's going to be a huge addition coming back. And we signed Mike Wallace, and I know I'm getting on the offensive side, but but at this point, I'm just going to discuss, you know, the, the NFC. Ah, why can't we be NFC champions again? I think our, our biggest test is going to be the LA Rams. You obviously have the Minnesota Vikings, who stepped up in the quarterback position and signed to Kirk Cousins. And, and hey, we see them first game of the season. That's going to be awesome. But, I mean, they're obviously... I'm talking about two good teams now. I'm not saying Minnesota and the Rams suck. I'm not saying that at all. But we can we can easily beat them again. I'm not afraid of them. And I, and I firmly believe that our defense is just as good, if not better, than last year. I mean, it's the truth. It's the truth. Now, I want to know what you guys think. I want to hear your opinions on this. Because I know the offseason... It is kind of in effect right now for for football, but 
I mean, there's a ton of moves being made. There's a lot of drama going on still throughout the free agency, throughout trades. I mean, Adam Schefter's all over Twitter. There's so many moves that are continuing to be made. So, you know, I, I definitely love the Eagles. They're the top dog here in this city. So I would love to get out some information about how we're going to sit here through the NFC. I, I want to know who has the better D, do you guys think? Do you still think the Eagles are looked at as an underdog compared to where the LA Rams are and the moves that they're making? I want to know. I want to hear from you guys. So with that being said... Thank you so much for watching. Hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe. Comment if you like to. I, I really do love hearing from you guys. My last video on the Sixers ha has been doing tremendous. And a ton of comments have been left. And, and I love communicating with you guys. And, and I love this Eagles team. I really do. And I think we have something special. I mean... Did we knock out the dynasty of the Patriots? And now it's time for the Philadelphia Eagles to step in and have their dynasty? We shall see, fellas. We shall see. So thank you so much for listening. I will see you guys next time.